everybody, I'm back today to do a spring theme tutorial using this Wet n Wild palette. I've had it for a while now and I was trying to figure out what to do with it and come up with something nice. It's called Poster Child. It's um, some satin and matte finishes, very springy, except for this one. And um, I had heard some mixed reviews, some good and some bad. And this is the look that I came up with, and if you like it, then keep on watching. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, actually first I prime my eyes with a soft ogre paint pot. Uh, that pretty much helps you, um, your eyeshadow from creasing, it makes it last all day, and we're doing some very bright colors, so we want to make sure that those don't fade or crease throughout the day. So then the next thing I'm going to use is the shadow base. It's white and it's from NYX. It is called the NYX eyeshadow base and it is in white. And I'm going to take a brush that looks like this and um, put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to put it on my bottom waterline too. And I'm just going to dab that on. You don't want a very thick layer because then your eyeshadow can tend to look chunky and then it will also defeat the purpose of us causing, preventing the shadow from creasing. So then I'm just going to drag that right along the bottom here. And I'm just going a tad ways up above the um, lid, like where the crease is, just a tiny bit. And I'm using a synthetic brush because if you use like a real hair brush um, or you don't use a synthetic brush, the product absorbs in the brushes and then doesn't get on your eyelids. So that's what I'm using. And this one is from Urban Decay. It was uh, the one that came with the uh, Naked One palette, I think. Alright, so after that I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to blend this out a little bit because we just want like a very thin layer and I'm just doing a dabbing motion to get some of the excess product off. Then next I'm going to go in with a small fluffy brush, this one's from Coastal Scents, and then a I'm going to take the um, color right here, it's the crease color on the Wet n Wild palette that we're using for this tutorial. I'm going to dab some of that shadow, do a light tapping, and then this is going to go in the crease. You don't want it too, too dark, so you're just going to lightly blend it out. Staying away from your lid. Like so. And we'll be adding some more later. I should say I should be adding some more later. And let me move this so we can get some better lighting. Alright. Next we're going to do our brow bone color. And that we're going to use this one right here. And it says brow bone on it. And I'm using this fluffy brush, very dense, packed brush. And we're going to put that on the brow bone. And make sure you marry that in with the pink that we just laid down. So it blends out nice and evenly. And we'll go back in and deepen this up some more in a little bit. So, after that, I'm going to go in with um, this itty bitty brush that I got from Coastal Scents. It looks like this. It's flat, but it's very small, and I have very small eyelids, so I want to make sure I get the um, eyeshadow in where I want it. And um, what I'm going to do 
is first I'm going to take a combination of this one and this one. I'm going to mix them together. And then we're going to do this pack. I'm going to pack this on my eyelid. Wherever the white base is left is where we're packing that. And when I say we, I mean me, unless you decide to do this, then it would be we. And make sure you get it right in the lash line in the corner here. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back in with this one and get a little more, bit more of that product on. And I'm going to go back over the blue that we just did. Trying to um, bring that teal out a little bit more. But I don't like the teal color itself. It's a little bit too bright for the look that I'm going for. So that's why we mix the other two colors first. Alright. Then next we're going to take this brush that looks like this. It's a, like kind of like a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit smaller. This is Coastal Sins. It's BRB S06. And I'm going to go in with the definer, this dark blue. Stab that on. You don't want a lot. And we're going to put that in this outer corner here. And I'm just going to dab that in there. And again, just keeping it in the corner. Because we're just trying to define this outer corner. And then if you want it darker, you can add some more on there. Like so. Then I'm going to go back in with the brush, brush that I used for the crease color. I'm going to go back in with some more of this crease color here. And we're going to go back in through the crease because you can see that we lost some of the color. So I'm going to go back in very, very lightly because we don't want to mix all the colors. Otherwise, they tend to look a little bit muddy. And then we're done with that. Then I'm going to take this brush. It almost looks like a pencil brush, but it's a little bit fluffier. And first I'm going to go in with the yellow. This one right here. And I'm going to put that on the bottom lash line. Pack that on. And then I'm going to go in with this teal color, and then what that's going to do is it's going to give us this um, green color that I have on the bottom lash line. Like so. And then, as you can see, it went down a little bit further, so I'm just going to take a brush that looks like this and clean that up a little bit. Then next, I'm going to take the a Nude Liner. This is Milani, or I'm sorry, Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. And I'm going to put that on the bottom waterline. After that, I'm going to use some black liquid liner. I'm going to wing it out and I'm using Prestige liquid liner in black. 
And we're just going to do a wing. This liner is probably my favorite liquid liner. I use it for all my wing liner looks. Uh, if you have very oily lids, this would be perfect for you. Um, what happens with me is when I use like the gel liners or any other liner for that, for a matter of fact, um, I end up getting, because uh, I have hooded lids, I end up getting the um, this little ring up here, and that's not cute at all. And it happens mostly in the summertime when it's hot out, and I live in Florida, so it gets hot. making sure these are even and then after that I'm going to go in with my clump crusher and do my eyelashes freaking allergies the bottom lash line or bottom lashes and yeah, next we're going to do the lips but it looks like my camera is about to die so let me charge that for a little bit and I'll be right back Alright, so for the lips, what I'm going to do is um, use the Sally Hansen Primer, Lip Primer. And then I'm going to go in with a lip brush. And I'm going to use a OCC Lip Tar. And this one is in Memento. And with these, you have to use a very tiny amount. And I'm going to put that all over my lips. And that's it. And then for my face, I use the Lorac Perfection Primer, and I'm in shade PR4. Um, for my contouring, I use the NYX uh, Blush and Taupe. Um, the blush that I use was Coralista by Benefit. And then for my highlighting, I use this Hard Candy highlighter, and it is a uh, So Baked Bronzer, and the shade is Antiki. 
and that's it so um that's the finished look it's very springy today is spring and i thought i would do the spring look to bring in the season so if you like it give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you soon bye